Got some pretty exciting news. In three days, the rest of our tiny cabins are showing up. And we are finally gonna get them set in their permanent spots for this campground that we're building. One of the cabins is gonna get set on this hill. What I need to do today is I've got about two or three trees here I'd like to take out before it gets set because once that building is there, I no longer have the skills to take down a tree this close to a building. So I've got one, two, three. I think they're all birch trees. I'm gonna take them out today um, and do any other little bit of clearing I need to do to make sure that we're ready for this building to be set. Okay, I've got two of the three trees taken out that I think we're gonna be, well, they weren't really gonna be in the way, but they were just gonna be right on top of the shed. And I'm trying to avoid too much mess and fall when everything starts coming off the trees. So I'm gonna cut these up. I'm gonna start by limbing them, getting all this out of the way. We're gonna have a pretty massive burn pile to do. The other reason I was motivated to do this is this is a win-win. I clear out this area for this building and I also need firewood for this year. So I've got multiple reasons to be doing this. Okay, so I couldn't take out the other tree up by the cabins for now. Once the cabins are actually gonna be here, I need to do it as they're being moved. But while my dad's here, what I'm gonna do for now is I need to go ahead and take another tree out of the front yard that's hanging over the greenhouse quite a bit, and it's kind of sketchy. We've got it chained up to pull, and I'm gonna go start cutting on it. <laughs> Okay, they're here. The last two cabins are coming up the road as we speak. This is very exciting. What the plan is right now is I'm gonna be having this first building moved and he's gonna take it up to this furthest site that we've got set up. And then when, when that's done and it's out of the way, I'm gonna take this tree out real quick and cut it up. And that way it can be removed before this cabin is set. And I think while I'm doing that, he's gonna go do the bathhouse on the other end of the property, try to get this tree cut up and moved. And then he can come back and finish setting the last three cabins. <laughs> Okay, you gonna go 
drop that tree. between the trees but no, I thought it was up. I thought it was gonna be like dominoes like it was gonna fall hit that tree make it fall over hit that tree so since it fell that way on the tree it's too high to cut I think he he didn't tell me yet but I think he's gonna try to use one of his straps and tie it around that tree and yank it Be out here somewhere. It should be right out here. So you're gonna run pretty much. I'm pretty much gonna come out. I'll probably come out, almost come down where your machine is, okay. tying to the tank. Um, but the other thing too, is it gonna come up higher in the back? Yeah, it'll come up higher. Okay. Yeah. So I've once I, to... so I'll start with a four to eight. Okay. And then I'll level up from that, so the back will be about the same. This building and these. I need to be at least be able to get on my back and get under them because I got to insulate. I don't think you do. Did that come up? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, anyways, this is the bigger deal. As long as I can get about two thirds of the way back, because that very back four or five feet is not going to have anything in it. Okay. I'll have a water line coming up, but that's okay. there's no plumbing back there. But I need to be able to run it out here. So, I'd say like a minimum of okay. two foot out here or a little more if you can do it. All right. So. Um, my son's got a little trailer behind the mower, so it helps. He can start okay. hauling blocks yeah. up here too. Yeah. So you don't gotta go I'll, back and uh, forth. I'll help him load it. Okay, the bathhouse is set. He's setting the last couple blocks underneath, but it's leveled and and ready to go. This thing is solid. You got it, you got it. All right, so even though we've had the road graded and we've had about five days of dry weather now, he is still struggling quite a bit to get these buildings up this little hill. So we're gonna we're gonna do what we can to help, but we gotta make this work. These have got to be set today.
Okay, so cabin number one is set. Cabin number two, oh, there it is, is about set. We've got two more after that, and every one of our buildings will be in place. You know what I'm saying? Mm hmm. Yeah, or you could put a, a hammock stand right here. Yeah, you could. You could put posts in, put a hammock. So then when you're sitting at your table eating breakfast, you could look at the pond. You're looking down there, that's cool. Someday. I totally like look at a marsh. Yeah, everybody's going to end up with a little view. This is cool. This is really cool. Well, it's starting to look like a campground. This is so cool, oh my gosh. So the third cabin is set. That one was pretty difficult to get into. The last cabin that needs to be moved is one of the first ones they brought and it sits way too high on the block on this hill. So that's why we had those spots graded out for him. <clears throat> I don't know if it's gonna be easier for him to move this one because it's already out. Oh, I think it will be. It's also a much more flat place he's going to. Right. The engine on this trailer that allows the trailer to roll the sheds off and pick the trailer up and move it it quit running it's like it's stalled out and it won't start any longer so he's having to spend a little more time moving these buildings around <clears throat> that's it that's the last one dude i think you could put the picnic table out front yeah you could and i didn't put realize the fire it, pit up there i didn't realize it was going to go so far back i wanted it i kind of wanted to push it to that almost the edge so that you would have all this yeah you could stick a picnic table Wouldn't right here be so cool yeah yep Okay, let's go look at this one now. <laughs> cool. You know what I really like? I really like the top windows. Yeah, those second bunks are going to be really cool up there. Yeah. Well, that's a good view out of every window from this cabin. Yeah. Wow, <laughs> this is crazy. It's done. Our buildings are here. The tiny cabins are done. They're set up. The bathhouse is in place and it looks incredible. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? All four of these cabins are set up and now the fun begins to finish the inside finish the bathhouse and get this place ready till we can start having people book and come stay with us. We've got a lot of work ahead of us. It's really exciting. Um, and we're really excited for you guys to follow along with us to see this whole build, to see it through. And again, hopefully come and stay with us when all of this is done. So please hit that like and subscribe button and hit that notification bell so that you can see the process of what we're going through to build this campground and at some point we're going to put a video out and we are actually going to break down every cost that we ran into um, permits and all that kind of stuff there was a lot of good and there was a lot of bad and we want to make it as real as possible so you understand the good and the bad of doing something like this so thank you very much for watching please stay tuned because there's a lot more coming